We're gonna do one here. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna do one here. Oh, yes. Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games of Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 15. In the last episode we looked at fall damage of zombies, we did a huge grind. And again, these episodes have to happen, we, we need probably even more grind. And we abandoned the trump wall and we're gonna focus on the drop trap, whatever we're gonna call it, I don't know yet. It's gonna be something in Aether, that's what it's gonna be. Something, something in Aether. And we're gonna work on that today. So we're gonna probably use explosives. TNT is probably gonna be involved if we can make it and we know how to make it, I have no idea. If not, we're gonna have to find other ways. But it's gonna be fun, hopefully, and I hope you're gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hey, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm just in the middle of planning my area and look what happens. Little screamer coming out, not happy at all. Where's she gone? Here. Damn it! Okay, let's. Whoa, 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 whoa! Did I get two for one? No? Okay, is that it? Okay, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie! Oh, damn it! Okay, actually, let's save the ammo. Let's just clobber them over the head. They're only on insane, baby! And I'm pretty insane! So look at that! It's a match made in heaven! There you go. Oh, no, no, down, down, down! Oh, another streamer! Holy macka balls! Oh, shit! Oh, this is not good. We have another set of people coming over, destroying our place. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Balls. Okay, I have to learn how to hip shoot with these guys. Hip shooting, hip shooting, because once we know how to hip shoot, this whole thing becomes a lot easier. Oh, whoa! This gun is so big in the screen, it's very hard to see. Is there anybody behind us? Yes, there is. Yes! Okay. Alright, okay, so let me clean this up. Holy balls. I hope there's not gonna be another screamer, because that would really be depressing. This took me some time, but I think I have a plan on what I want to do. So, now as the zombies cleared up, we should have some time to actually go over it. There's no more torches, no more torches running, so we should be okay for screamers. Unless they randomly come by, which I think they do. But anyway, this is going to be the shark tank area. This is going to be a solid concrete block, reinforced concrete block square, except for two little entries. And that is just so in case a cop spits, that we can kind of go here. And if a cop spits here, we can go here. And we can kind of use it to go around to hide from attacks. Now on the inside though, there is gonna be a ladder going all the way up through. Basically allowing us to bring this little square of a tower all the way through to the hole. So we can start shooting at zombies from the outside, you know, aggravate, excuse me, aggravating them. And then before they come down here. This is gonna be our, I think you guys call it a shark tank area where we're gonna have 50 millimeter, oh, sorry, 50% blocks all the way around. The 50 blocks. Or 50 pillars. The 50 pillars all the way around. About five, five rows high, and then we're just gonna use wood. It doesn't really matter. Because wood is fine. Now, there's gonna be then another area, which is gonna be seven wide. And this is where the zombies will drop in. So the zombies will literally drop pretty much here. So this is the wall that will go all the way up, probably about five high, and then dirt, because we're gonna dig it into the mountain, uh, into the wall. So this is basically the our original wall here. This is it. So this is where everything will come down. So building a pyramid on the outside, this is where we stop. And then underground, on the very ground floor, about five blocks high, we have this area here with another 50 pillar going all the way around. And that is the outer ring where we can clean up some things as well, reach bodies, clean them up and so on. And then maybe underground here we have room. Now this outer ring and the inner ring will be connected with uh, underground tunnels. That should be fine. Should be no problem. We need them anyway so we can report, uh, repair the spikes underground. So we're going to dig down all the way to, uh, to, to, to bedrock. And then from bedrock we go about four high, I would say. And that will be our area where we're going to be standing on the ground and repairing the spikes on top. Pretty much like we had it done over there that's the plan is it too big possibly <laughs> but it's gonna be our 
I don't know. Pyramid Cliff Zombieinator. <laughs> Pyramid Cliffinator. I don't know. I have to think of a name, but this is the plan. And the digging is gonna be an absolute bitch. But what we're going to do is we're going to dig up everything with a shovel first because that's just dirt and that should be really fast. And we also have to continue looting areas because we still have to find um, the auger. So we want to go back to the trader at some stage and do the treasure chests that I have. I have two or three treasure maps uh, that I have. and Or at least one anyway. And that will give us enough coin hopefully to find buy an auger if there will be an auger in the trader. We'll see. But that would be really brilliant. It would help probably a lot. So let's get started! Before we're gonna start having some fun with dynamite or with TNT, they're surprisingly easy to craft, so I'm not sure how effective they actually are. But we're gonna find out. Oh wow, base price, what? Holy shit! Is that all of them or just one? Wow, we can actually make a pretty penny like just making that. Holy balls. Anyway, um, empty bird's nests. I didn't know that, and you guys were saying that to me in the comments, that you can actually wrench them. Look at that. You get a feather from it, two feathers, and five uh, plant fibers. So these things here are never going to refill anyway, because, well, oh, look, two, three. Very good, I like it. So that's five feathers alone. Anyway, we have smelly food on us, we have um, bacon and eggs on us, so let's take the chests the chest closer to where we're gonna work and let's start having some fun with TNT I really hope this is gonna work I have no idea what the uh, perimeter is or what the area is now what I want to do is I want to go exactly in the middle and see if that will be enough to do this area so but first I'm gonna have to flatten it out so let's bring this chest into a safe area uh, over here possibly yeah let's put it over here <laughs> somewhere safe and um, Let's put the food and the drink there. That's what this is for. So I filled up on food and drink already before we left. So we shouldn't need any this soon. So let's get started on digging up some a trench, whatever you want to call it. And then let's even it out. Until we hit uh, uh, stone. Because stone is what we need to see how effective the dynamite is. Just doing some final touches. We're just getting the last bit of dirt away from the wall here. And then we have a nice test area where we can put the TNT down. Now, I have a tiny little hole here. I'm not really too worried about that. But we need to know what the radius is going to be for stone. So, which is a bit annoying that I have that little hole there. But I think it will, it will be enough. Excellent. Okay, so it's going to be seven across. One, two, three... Okay, here we go. So let's put it down. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, there it is. It is down. Now we're gonna have to nerd pull out. I wanna take all that with us so we can have the nice radios and see actually how it's um, gonna impact everything around it. There we go. And we're up. Now. Okay, <laughs> Woo! this is interesting. Let's hope we're not gonna blow ourselves up like like we did before. Okay, I'm gonna stand here. This is gonna be a safe distance. Excellent. Okay, let's go. There it is. I can just about see it. Nice! Oh, that was awesome. So it's actually only a three by three area, is it? Okay, so let's just go down here. Whoop. There we go. So we ended up with... Oh, look at that. We even get some leftovers to pick up. Awesome. So there is obviously this... I think this stone was more or less... Yeah, that was more from rubble from the explosion. But it is actually a perfect 3x3 three three square, I think. So let me see. If this is the middle, we have a 1, 2, 3. Nice. So, it, is that zombie footsteps? Shit. And how deep is that? So, seeing that we we dug down two. Okay, so... One. I think this is where we had it. 
Let me see. So here was the surface. We dug down one and then another one. So it actually went only one deep. But one all around, pretty much, I think. Excellent. So by that calculation, we should be able... Take this. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. So if it is one, we want the next one to be here. Oh man, this is going to be amazing. I hope they're going to uh, uh, explode each other. Okay, so now this should take care of everything around it except maybe one row. So let's get out on this side. And let's try that again. We can barely see it. But somewhere in this hole... Oh, there's the one in the middle. Will we do the one in the middle and see what happens? Oh, I think it killed the other two. It actually didn't... Oh, did it... oh there it is. Nice! And did it kill this one? I think this one just died. I don't think this one blew up. So we're gonna have to be careful. Holy balls. Okay. Oh, shit! It didn't break anything. Good. Okay, it went. A, it actually went a little bit into the wall as well. Very nice. I like it. And we get some free stone. And what is that? Raw iron. Excellent. Sweet. Yeah, this is actually from the uh, fallout. So let me just clean that up. So we should theoretically be able to make a very nice um, area with that. Cool. Okay, let me dig that out and clean that up, and then we're going to continue. Oh, 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 The way this might actually work better, and we should be safe enough to do it from this distance here, if not we're screwed, um, is to do it like this, that we actually go... Let me just get the frame so I can eyeball it a little bit better. So we want this road to be gone, we want this road to be gone, and we want this road to be gone. So what we should do is dig in here. Too, too, too deep. And place it here. Then dig too deep here. And place it here. Nice. And that should hopefully be enough. We should have enough of a distance not to kill ourselves. So let's do this. Oh, I love it! Look at that! Oh, I love it! This is amazing! This is destruction! And look how perfect! Oh, did it make an extra hole? No, it didn't. It just made a little dent. Okay, can we can we zoom, can we do the whole collect everything in one foul swoop still? No, look, it's not coming. Oh, damn it! What happened to the pick up all on Hoover? Look at that. I want to have that mass pick up again. Anyway. Which means this wall here I'm gonna do with my uh, tools. Because it is the last uh, bit of wall standing. And then we can go literally all the way across. Here. Through the stone. And then we just basically have the whole thing collapse. That would be awesome. Oh man, let's let's do something like that. That is amazing. I'm gonna make more TNT and then we see how much time we have left and then we're gonna have some more fun with it. So now that we only have a few minutes left, I already placed some uh, TNT here. So let's do this. Let's start with this one. We should be far enough away. Boom! Oh crap, I forgot to take the um, these guys off. <laughs> uh, can we pick up TNT again? Oh, we can pick it up again. That is awesome. And we're going to do one here. Oh, I love it. I'm going to do one here. Oh, yes. And then we're going to do one here. Where is it? Oh, I can see it just there. Love it. Look at that. That is amazing. And we're seriously going to just keep doing that until we get all the way through. Well, we're going to start in the middle because I don't want this to collapse on me yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in the middle. And <laughs> we got to go through to the other side. Um, oh, look at all this iron. Wow. Okay, so. 
Oh, at least you can hold the left mouse button. Okay, once you picked one up, you can hold hold the left mouse button and just go over the items and should pick them up. Now, that was still 20 iron. Now, it's still, yeah, we lose a lot of resources doing that. But believe me, if we... Oh, look, is that iron? Oh! Well, we're gonna be doing that by ourselves. And look at that. Even with a 600... Uh, Wow, that is intense that you actually still have to hit it so much. You would think when you got highest level of everything that it wouldn't. Anyway, that's besides the point. This is going to be fun. I hope you got, you enjoyed the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. Look at all this iron. And we made it all the way through. There we go. Look at that. Nice. We're gonna need to eat and drink. So let's put this down. Nice. Right on that wall. Beautiful. Made it all the way through. And it's not collapsing just yet. <laughs> oh man. Can't wait to bring this down. This is gonna be epic. <laughs>